The book with no pictures. Today's story is simply a super silly story that asks us, what if a book had no pictures? So let's not wait any longer and let's jump right into it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious. Except, here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. No matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means, even if the words say blork, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurve. Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book that I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Uh Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I'm reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? And now it's time for you to sing me my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a glug, glug, glug? My face is a bug. I eat and for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading it yet? No. There are more pages. I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. (gasps) Boo Boo Butt! And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is a book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like, oh, no, oh, no, here it comes. Glurgawaka, magrumpadu, aye, 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 brug, 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 oomph, eomph, blagity, blagity, glibbity, glabity, glabity, glibbity, beep, boop, eep, a doggy face. Oh, my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please. Because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. Mm, I didn't want to say that. Wow, that was a super silly book. Now, for today's activity, I want you to think about the funniest word you can create. Then, figure out what that word means and draw a picture of it. Are you ready to get creative? Okay, get your piece of paper and some coloring tools, crayons, color pencils, markers, whatever you like to use. And write your word, spell it however you want, however it makes sense to you and draw a picture of it. And when you're ready, show it to your grown-up and make them read the word. (laughs) Now, I would love to see these pictures and read your very silly words. So, if you want, you can ask your grown-up to take a picture of it and send it to me at thegivingprojectforchildren at gmail.com. And I would love to respond and read your ridiculously silly words. Thank you so much for sharing this crazy book by B.J. Novak with me. Let's continue to develop our love of reading together. Till next time.